I'm Rupert Soskin. And I'm Michael Bott. Welcome to another Prehistory Flash, where we look into some of the exciting discoveries and research being carried out in the world of prehistoric archaeology. This is potentially a highly significant piece of research carried out by a team who were at the time at University College London. However, the team have now all moved into new areas of research at different universities. Their research is centred in the Balkans, where evidence has emerged that people were using cattle for heavy work as much as 2,000 years earlier than previously thought, pushing the practice back to around 6,000 BC in mainland Europe, and it's yet another pointer towards the widespread use of cattle in human history. I must admit, when I first saw the headline of the article, I imagined they'd found a yoke of some sort. But actually, it's the foot bones of the cattle, because when placed under habitual strain, the inner part of the foot associated with load-bearing shows extra bone growth and broadening where muscle and ligament attach. The researchers took examples from 11 different Neolithic sites throughout the Balkans, looking specifically at the foot bones of both aurochs and domestic cattle. Yeah, if you want it in a nutshell, and this is a quote from the paper, we're talking about broadening of the medial condyles for both metacarpals and metatarsals, as well as extension of the medial proxial, uh, pro, proximal, I beg your pardon, articular facet of both first and second phalanges. You almost made it look as if you uh, knew what you were talking about. <laughs> almost. Now, but no, but almost. Carry on. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. <laughs> it's also interesting that this research doesn't change the dating of the origins of ploughing, etc., which happened much later. This research shows specifically that people were using cattle in a similar way to how we use shire horses, most likely for dragging huge timbers around for construction. Like so many discoveries, it's just where someone with a sharp eye noticed that something was different. An earlier finding in Syria of a similar foot bone was inconclusive, and then a number of them were excavated around Serbia and Croatia. As Rupert said earlier, the members of this research team have all moved on to other things. But we tracked down one of the authors, Dr Mark van der Linden, who is now at Bournemouth University, to ask if there are any new developments. He told us that, as far as he knows, no one has taken up the idea to investigate all the cattle bones languishing in the back rooms of museums. So, we say <laughs> that this should be a student task, and all university archaeology departments should get on a mission to see if this pattern of bone growth can be shown throughout the Neolithic and, to the point, the megalithic world. Yeah, just think of all those different ways that people have imagined our ancestors moving stones around when all the time they might simply have been using teams of cattle. Anyway, there you go, folks. Cattle as working animals 8,000 years ago. But before you go, though, next year, only 15 years since the last time, we're going to be making another feature-length documentary about all about the story of the people who built our megalithic monuments in the Neolithic and Early Bronze Age. For news and information on how you can help us achieve that, hop over to our Patreon page, details below and in the link up there. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you again soon.